all the peoples champ. Live and direct from Houston, Texas, the Swisher House representative. Born and raised, Houston, Texas, baby, on the northwest side, holding it down. Yes, sir, but I represent for the whole city, though, you know what I'm saying? Putting the whole city on the map. Of course, it's always been on the map, but we're trying to bring the spotlight, you know, shine it on the city again. And all, all the people who got looked over throughout the UGK or the screwed up clip, we trying to, you know, bring a lot of attention to them, too, and get them their props on that. It was really Michael Watts. I was working for the Swisher House, you know, he's been doing mixtapes since the 90s, like the early 90s and, you know, even in the 80s. But, uh, you know, I got on the scene probably like 95 and started doing, you know, promotions for Michael Watts, promoting his mixtapes, promoting his parties, and, you know, just promoting his, you know, his crew that he had called the Swisher House. And uh, I got down with it really hard in 99. That's when I first got out my first mixtape. From there, man, we just took off, you know. It's a lot of it's a lot of competition in Houston, but um, it's not really competition. It's just that it's a lot of businesses out there doing, you know, like you see what I'm saying. Like it's a lot of record labels out there, it's a lot of rappers out there. But I don't really feel like we in competition with each other though. But it, it's definitely hard to make it. But it's just hard to make it in whatever you do. You know, the more work you do, the better you're gonna get at it. And you know, the harder you work, the bigger your paycheck gonna be. In Houston, the SUC. You know, it was bigger than the Swisher House, you know what I'm saying? But it's like the rest of the world kind of grasped off to the Swisher House. But I think it's just timing. Even still, you know what I'm saying? Like, we hold the utmost respect for, um, you know, everybody in the SUC. Like, Lil Kiki, I got my boy Big Pokey on the, on the single with me sitting sideways. Big Mo, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's in the SUC. Because, you know, they created everything and everything that we got. It's like they, they, they brought the fire, they brought the toys, they brought the kerosene, and they lit that bitch. The main thing that I'm really bringing to the table, I got a real agenda with the People's Champ. I'm trying to really represent the Texas culture that we've been living for so long down in Texas that the rest of the world is oblivious to. Shit, I'm talking about these goals in my mouth, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about these creases in my jeans. I'm talking about this drink I got in my system. Everything, man. I'm talking about the whole culture, the, the, the slang. Is that, is that, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I ain't playing no games, little baby. This the codeine with promethazine. Codeine, promethazine. This is a prescription right here. It's going down for real. But other than that, I'm talking about the screw music, I'm talking about the car culture, the candy paint, the swingers, the popping trunk, whatever, man, everything we talk, the boppers, you know what I'm saying, the plex, whatever, they just like little words, you know, little slang that we use in our everyday speech. Car Wild, the People's Champ, tune in to Blow DVD magazine, it's going down. What they talking about, the People's Champ in the place to be on Blow, that's what that is.